Hey guys, it's the Chad, your C10 truck nerd. Today, I want to talk to you about the bow ties that came on a 1967 to 72 Chevy truck, Suburban, K5 Blazer, and some step vans. Now these things looked awesome when they were brand new, but after 50 plus years of wear and tear, they start looking pretty cruddy. When that happened, that left you a few options. You could go through and just leave it alone, go out and buy you an expensive repop, or you could try to restore it. Well, by now, most of you guys know that I'm cheap and I don't like to spend any extra money if I don't have to. So in today's video, I'm gonna go through and show you for just a few bucks how you can transform your old worn out bow tie like this and transform it into something that looks like new. Newish. So during the 1967 to 72 Chevy Action Line series, the bow ties would have either been in the grills or up on the hood. Starting in 1967 and 68, the bow ties would have been red, and they also would have had fender badges with a 10, 20, or 30 with a red bow tie on those. Then in 1969 and 70, Chevy came out with these beautiful blue bow ties that would have been on the leading edge of the hood. Then in 71 and 72, they brought the same blue bow tie down into the center of the grill, which was my favorite by far. Now, the red 67, 68 ones, especially the fender badges, they were completely exposed to the elements, so it was not uncommon for this red paint to start flaking or fading. When that happened, you had a few options. You could just leave it alone, you could go through and buy those expensive repops, or you could go through and try to restore it or customize it. And you know me, I'm cheap, and I'm gonna try to find any way to save old used parts if I possibly can. So when I went through and did the video on how to save one of these inner grills, I tested out how to try to restore one of these uh, bow ties as well. And truly, I've got a great way to do it for just a couple bucks. So the first thing we need to do is go through and pull these badges or emblems off. Most all of these were held on with these 3 8 inch acorn style nuts. So just grab you a ratchet or an extension. We'll pop the hood and pull the bow tie one off. So we got it. So if you take a closer look, this uh, blue bow tie, it's just a piece of clear plastic. If you flip it over, it's got blue paint and some silver paint on the top. Now there's really not much to these things. I don't really know why they're so expensive, but uh, it's because they're in demand and people will pay that, but not me. So the first bow tie I'm gonna show you guys how to restore is gonna be one of the bigger blue ones. So if we take a closer look at the bow tie, there's this inner plastic bow tie surrounded by this bigger chrome one. If you flip it on the backside, this is where your 3 8 inch uh, acorn nuts would go. And this piece of plastic is being held in by six metal tabs. Now these are pot metal, so they're pretty flimsy. Two of them have already broken off. Now to get these out, you're just gonna pry these back with a screwdriver or a pair of pliers. More than likely, they're all gonna break, but that's not the end of the world. When we get this all restored up, I'll show you how to retain this back in or hold it back in. That one didn't break all the way off yet. <laughs> Not too bad. Eh, that one's gone. Well, oh, there we go. So now you can take a closer look. Just all clear plastic with this blue and silver on. So the next thing we need to do is get all the blue and silver paint off the backside of this plastic bow tie. And let me tell you, this stuff is really on here. I've tested carb cleaner, brake cleaner, paint and lacquer thinners, even brute force. But the best thing that's worked for me so far is a little bit of mineral spirits and a, a stiff wire brush. Now I'll just put a little spirits on the back of this, let it soak, and then I'm gonna work my wire brush left or right, same direction as the bow tie. You wanna do your best to get all of that paint off of there that way, when we go through and put our new stuff on, it looks good. So let's get started. So I got most all the paint off the bow tie. I'm just gonna grab a little carb cleaner to take that uh, residual goo off of there. But now you can see this Bow tie is just a piece of clear plastic, front and back, but it does have quite a few surface scratches on it from all the wear and tear uh, being on the road. So I'm gonna go through and grab some Ultimate Compound and polish, go through and try to smooth out this front side, make it shine the best that we can, and 
we can move on to paint. So I've gone through and finished polishing up the plastic bow tie and we're ready for some color. Now when I went through and tested different ways to restore one of these bow ties, I tried several different paint options as well. I tried a brushable paint and I also tried some spray paint or aerosol. Now since I don't want to spend a bunch of money, I've elected to go with brushable paint. We're going to be using the Old Faithful Testies, Testers, Testers model paint. This is a, an enamel or a oil base. And one of these teeny little jars probably gets you 15 to 20 of these bow ties. So it really goes a long ways. Plus it's only $1.99 or so a jar. I bought these off of Amazon. Uh, Hobby Lobby has some. What I found with the craft stores though, they, they really don't have a very big selection. But you can really get some bang for your buck for two bucks. Now the color that I'm going to use that's closest to the original Chevy is going to be blue metallic flake, but you can use whatever color you want if you want to customize yours. A lot of guys will go through and paint the bow tie the same color as the body. I've seen guys go through and paint them up and then stick LED lights behind it so they glow at night. One thing I'd warn you about is uh, check your local state laws to know which colors you can have uh, illuminated to the front. That way you don't get stopped by the police. So we're going to go through and uh, put three coats is what I found to be the best with the testers paint. Uh, we'll let them dry in between and we'll see how it turns out. Testies, good lord. So before you get started, make sure you shake your bottle. You can see uh, all that metallic is stuck down there at the bottom. You can get a toothpick or something as a mini stir stick if it doesn't mix up well. So once you get that done, crack your lid off. Oh my gosh, maybe not. And just steal uh, one of your kids' paint brushes. And just make sure when you paint this, you're going the same direction as the bow tie. And it can be thin coats here. Uh, don't try to get all full coverage your first go around. And don't make it too runny where it changes the colors for being thick in some spots and light in the other. So we'll go through, put our first coat on, and let that dry for a couple hours and start our second. So we've got the first thin coat on and man, that metallic looks awesome. I think I forgot to mention we're painting the back side of the bow tie, not the front. Three thin coats on the back. This is the tester's blue metallic flake. So we'll let this dry for a couple hours and we'll come back with coat number two. So one thing I forgot to address earlier is what happens if your inner bow tie is severely cracked or damaged like this? Well, you can go through and try to glue it back together and paint the front side of it or the other day out of the Oklahoma C-10 Club, I saw a guy named Greg. He had his 7172 bow tie painted bright red like this. Well, at least I thought he did. I reached out to him and he said he had actually got a piece of vinyl, cut it out, stuck it on there, and it looks sweet. Check it out. While we're waiting for that first coat of paint to dry, we can start cleaning up this chrome bow tie. To do that, I like using my mother's aluminum and mag polish, or you can use some Brasso wadding and some Quad Zero steel wool. All we're gonna do is uh, get it wet and work that steel wool back and forth gently. And then once it hazes up, we can just buff it right off. So while that blue paint's drying, let's talk about the bow ties that came on the 67 and 68s. We would have had that red bow tie in the center of the grill. You also would have had some type of fender badging or emblem like this. It would have been a 10, 20, or 30 signifying what series of truck you had with that red bow tie at the top. Now the downfall of these fender badges is they were completely exposed to the elements all the time, no plastic to protect them. That's why we see that the paint is fading and flaking so easy. Now to restore one of these, it's super easy. We just get a little steel wool and some mothers or the brasso again, polish up the chrome, and then hit it with a little carb cleaner to take any of that grease off. And I'm gonna paint it again with some testers. Now, I'm choosing to use just gloss red. I like it because it really pops. We'll put two, maybe three coats on here. And if it starts to fade or flake again, no problem. You don't even need to pull it off the truck. Just go through and put you another coat on. I mean, pretty easy.
So I've got two coats on both of the bow ties now, and I think I'm just going to call it for the evening. Let this get a nice hard cure overnight, and then we can start in the morning with the third coat. Once that dries, then we can get everything put back together. So we'll see you tomorrow. So I've got the third coat on and I gotta tell you, these things turned out pretty dang awesome. Not near as nice as a repop, but you know, for $2, I can't be too disappointed. So the next step is reassembly. For that, you're gonna need a hot glue gun and I'll show you why. So the next thing we need to do is go through and stick this plastic insert back into the chrome bow tie and they only go in one way, obviously just kinda look at the shape here. Now there is one mounting tab that's left, so we're actually gonna go through and slide it up in under this. But my hot glue gun is what I'm gonna be using to hold this, uh, this plastic bow tie back in since all the pop metal tabs are broke off. So we'll go through and just put a couple dabs in first to make sure it looks uh, right from the front end. And then we can finalize with more once we uh, determine that that's where we want it. So I've let that set up for about a minute. Looks like everything's in the right spot, so I'm just gonna go through and put a lot more goo on here, make sure it doesn't come out as we're driving down the road. So I'm pretty sure I've used about a pound more than I actually needed, so we're gonna let that uh, dry for a couple minutes. We'll pull all these uh, spider stringies off here and see how it turned out. Yeah. All that glue is set up, and you can see on the back of mine, I've just left it that blue metallic flake whereas the originals would have been painted silver on top of the blue. I'm not gonna do that because if this ever chips or fades or cracks or anything, I can just go back and put another coat of paint on it and not have to scrub it all the way back down again. Earlier I told you another way to go through and restore your bow tie is to use a little spray paint. And I think that's a pretty good option because you could lay down three coats in less than an hour. Now the closest color I found to this original Chevy bow tie blue is Duplicolor's Perfect Match Sonic Blue Pearl. You can pick that up at your local AutoZone, O'Reilly's, and I think Amazon has it as well. Now the downfall, that stuff comes in at 17 bucks for one of those smaller cans of it, but if you're in a time crunch or you're just impatient, it's not a bad way to go. So all the glue and paint's dried, and I gotta tell you guys, these turned out really nice. That red gloss just really pops, and that blue metallic flake ain't too shabby. Now there is a little scratch on the outside of the lens. I wet sanded and buffed it the best that I could, but it'll just have to do. Now I did tell you in the beginning that my tester's paint was gonna be a couple shades lighter than the original Chevy Blue, but I kind of prefer the lighter myself, but what do you guys think? Let me know down in the old clickety-clack. Next thing we need to do is go stab them back in the grill and see what it looks like. So now that these are finished up, we can reinstall them. So grab your 3 8 inch nuts, and tighten them down. So I've got the original bow tie back in the truck and this is where I want your guys' opinion. Do you prefer the original blue Chevy bow tie? My custom blue metallic flake? Or is it gonna be this screaming gloss red? Well guys, we've done it. We've successfully gone through and either restored or customized all these Chevy bow ties, you know, the Chad way, which is probably the wrong way, but I guarantee it's the cheapest. For a couple bucks, we were able to go through and take these old worn out bow ties and make them look like pretty decent daily drivers. Now, I can't promise you that my tester's paint is gonna last five years or even five months. Now, I did go through and test it on the first one, painted it all up, and I threw it in the bed old forest here and just let it sit in the sun. So far, I haven't had any issues, but even if it does fade or crack, no big deal, I'll just pull the paintbrush out and put another coat on. I mean, it'll only take me about a minute. Now, if you guys know of any better ways to go through and restore one of these things, well, type it down in the little clickety-clack, and while you're there, hit that like button and subscribe. Well, I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.